And brought to you by our friends, the American Divorce Association for Men Facing Divorce. Call the expert attorneys at Adam, 248-356-ADAM. You guys ready? I'm with, oh, by the way, we're on Facebook Live. Hi, everybody. Yes, we are. Hi. We have a Harbaugh shirt on today. Hi. Okay. You ready, Ryan? Yeah, this is an important one. Yes. It's the, it, it's the little things that can cause real issues. Last <sighs> night, Heidi was eating trail mix. I walked in uh, from doing some stuff outside. She's eating trail mix, and then I sit down next to her, and I notice, huh, she's only eating the M&Ms out of it. That is 100% an illegal move, right, when it comes to trail mix? Oh, yeah. I brought this up to my buddies, and my buddy goes, dude, that's breaking the trail mix constitution. You can't do that. <laughs> what would you marry, a six-year-old? I'm like, come on. You Heidi. can't just eat the best part and leave all everything else. No. That's not how it works. No. I'd smack my kids in the, in, if they were eight and did that. Right? Not, you know, no. You can't do that. now you just leave a bag of raisins and nuts. Who wants that? Plenty of people, but not people that want it. With, it it's part of the whole thing. Yes. Yeah. It complements the saltiness of the cashew or whatever's in there. What? <laughs> you were really thinking about that one. Here's the problem. I'm breaking it this does, down. It does, though. It's the oh, perfect sweet and savory combo. Sweet, com yeah, sweet and salty combo. It was. And it you just threw it off by eating all of them. What did she say? Did you confront her with this last night? Well, she tried to deny that she was, and I'm like, look at the bag. You can clearly see that there's... The M and M's are going. Hold on, two four eight three nine eight nine two seven nine is our house phone. Heidi's eating only the M and M's out of the trail mix. It's illegal, right? It's a bad move. Yeah. What do you guys think? Are you Team Ryan, Team Heidi on this one? And, and so she denies it at first. Yes. And now I'm like, is this how she's covering up her chocolate addiction by thinking that she's like by buying trail mix? There could be two things here. She's trying to fool herself that she's not just eating chocolate. Right. Or she's trying to fool me that she's eating more chocolate than I think. Like she's buying this as a cover. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not the second half. I got the first part. So, so she, she she wants to eat a bunch of M&Ms, but goes, ah, maybe that's not a good look so if I'm just hammering M&Ms. So she's trail mix so she's so trying to eat them out. Okay, right. now I see what you're saying. Getting okay. the trail mix just to be able to eat the M&Ms and have candy and not look like. Is there anyone else who lives in a home like this? I hope not. You can't. You can't do that. Heidi, you can't do that. You can't just eat the M&Ms. 248-398-9279. What are you doing? Yeah. No, no, I'm with you on this one, man. That's not cool. That's not cool. And she's teaching Finn a bad habit. Right. Finn's going to see mom doing that and start picking the M&Ms out of the trail mix. Yeah, and then everybody's getting tossed out of the house. Wow. Okay. See, here's my problem. I, I obviously I'm I'm Team Ryan. I'm with you on this one. Yeah. However, comma, I really don't have a lot of room in this because when I, I told you when I was a kid, my grandma had a whole thing of uh, candy corn, and I would go and she had it like by the front door, right, for Halloween and then like all the way through Thanksgiving. It was just there for like a month and a half in a big bowl. She didn't put it in a bag or anything. The kids came up, she'd just throw it in there. Yeah. Well, I would go through and bite the top third off and then throw it back in. Yeah, you you should have been sent to a home. I I, I readily admit it was a horrible <laughs> move as a kid. Well, and I, I denied it. I threw my cousin Connie under a bus a couple times over that. I've told told you the story before, but my nieces did this with pistachios. They licked all the salt off of them and put them back in the bag. And then my my stepdad couldn't thought that my my mom bought them unsalted pistachios. Just a bunch of animals, man. But this is just a wild move. It's just something you do. But nobody can be on Team Heidi. This is savage stuff here. Savage An stuff. Yeah, animal behavior. 248-398-9279 is her house phone. Just getting started with the grounds for divorce. Heidi's only eating the M&Ms out of the trail mix. That's illegal, right? I just love my buddy, the trail mix constitution, dude. <laughs> like, I guarantee <laughs> if you type in tra trail mix constitution, I'm looking at her, I guarantee you there's someone who's written something about this. 100%. Uh, Ryan, that should be it. Time for divorce. I'll be behind you for sure. That's from Kelly. Wow. Okay. People are definitely fired up about this. What is, 
Mr. Positive. Okay, hold on. Who's the other one I saw here? Uh, Ryan, it's time to call Adam. <laughs> we got the number right here, 248-356-ADAM. That's the one. <laughs> I tried to look this up to see if there was anything on it, and the first thing was, my wife only eats the M&Ms out of the trail mix. Basically the devil, right? <laughs> Wow. Oh, man. Wow. Hold on. Mr. Positive. Go ahead, man. Hey, you guys. I'm for Heidi. I love the idiosyncrasies. Everybody has them. I'm the same way. I might like a little bit of this. I might not like the whole thing. But if you like the other part, you guys can have the other part. But I'm for Team Heidi. No. And I just want I, uh, our sizzle. I apologize. But uh, you know I love you. But it's just the idea that the idiosyncrasies, everybody has them. And I just... Yes, I love M and M's and I love the chow mix, but uh, some of the things I don't like, and you know, just try to get along. I mean, you just kind of realize, buddy, it's just gonna make life a lot easier. Happy you. wife, happy life. There you go, Mr. I Positive. Thank you, buddy. Here's my thought to that: If What's you that? want, if oh, I, I, I like the M and M's, then just buy a damn bag of M and M's. You're trying again. You're trying to cover up the the fact that you just want to slug a bunch of M and M's down your throat. Hold on. So you're buying. You mixed said nuts this is stuff. supposed to be the nice one on Thursday. Careful. <laughs> now I'm getting fired up. Hi, dude. Chris. Hello. How what? are you guys doing? Wonderful. Go ahead. Uh, just buy more M and M's. Um, do any of you ever eat the trail mix part of that mixture, or would you rather just have the M and M's anyway? No, that's why you buy the trail mix because you want to eat the trail mix again. No, you if you don't. want to buy, eat M and M's. Buy the M and M's. Okay. Um, well, I'm reminded of Dr. Ruth Westheimer. Do you guys remember her? I remember Dr. Ruth when a man and a woman love each other very much. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Indeed. Yeah. Well, she and her husband had a conflict because he liked to squeeze the toothpaste from the bottom of the tube up, and okay. she liked to squeeze it from the middle. So they decided they just each would get their own tube of toothpaste. Um. So maybe there's some wisdom there. Uh, just buy more M&Ms because you know Heidi's going to eat more M&Ms out of the trail mix. See? And that way, Ryan, at least, you'll still have a stab at the M&Ms. Boy, there, okay. there's, that's a I double just... entendre right there. There's there's another thing in there. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. You're welcome. You guys have a good day. You too. Bye. Uh, 509. Our friends in Ontario. My husband does this. He eats the cheesies out of the party mix, too. Drives me crazy, so I started hiding my treats. Yeah, there's now Now this is a whole investigative series I have to do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I love the, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, what is it, like, Cheez-It makes it, like, the bar mix type stuff. Sure, right? absolutely, yeah. Now I'm going to go in there and say, is she only eating the good little... Uh, Gardello or whatever those oh, things are called. That's why there's a bag of just them. Exactly. That's yeah. what I'm saying. People are giving her too. Oh, let her eat the M and M's. That's what she likes out of it. No, no, no. That's not the food. It's the point. Yeah. Okay. I see. You said you weren't going to get fired up about if this you. This if, yeah. Like nobody gets pepperoni pizza and just eats the pepperonis off of it, and then it was you're ruining it. That was bad <laughs> analogy. No, no, no. It's good analogy. <laughs> what bad? Still a good pizza, Matt. Yes, sir. You got some advice for Ryan? I do. Ryan, first of all, you're absolutely right, but uh, I think this is the opportunity for you to swoop in and be a big hero, and why not just get her a bag of M&M's? M &M's? Say, honey, you know, I see what you're doing, but uh, you don't have to hide it. Because have your M &M's see, and, uh, you could be the bigger anyway. person. Okay. I get that, but this is, part of her, this is part of the whole game. If I came home with a one-pound bag of M&M's, She'd go, oh, no, I don't want those. That's way too much. I, I'm not going to eat that m amount of chocolate. Okay. And well, then I'll find her smashing her the, the M&M's. From, it's all a ruse here she's trying to pull on me to make make it look like she doesn't eat as many M&M's as she does. Well, yeah, but you can just uh, tell her you know her, and uh, you don't have to hide who you are, baby. See, now, Matt, baby, okay, uh, Matt, you're not wrong, and, and this, uh, this falls on both sides of the equation. You know the French fry thing, right? Any any relationship when you go out to and you go, well, I'm going to get a burger. Do you want fries? No. And we all do it. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I don't want any fries. And then what do you wind up doing? Eating the fries. You eat their fries. Right. I've done it to yeah. Kathy. She's done it to me. It, it's a thing. Yeah, that's a good point, Matt. Thank you for calling. All right. Have a good one, guys. You too, man. Bye. Be the bigger man, Ryan. Just bring home a bag of M&Ms for her and just reload it. Do that every time. No. Buy M&Ms if you want to eat M&Ms. If you want to eat trail mix, then you eat trail mix. 
And I'm fine with all this and trying to keep it light for you because I know you got a big weekend. You're going out tomorrow night. You're golfing with your friends on Saturday. You don't want to screw any of that up. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to offer this up as well because I was fine. I wasn't triggered about any of this. We're having fun this morning. And then 734 had to send me one text message. Just send us one te- text message. It's almost as bad as eating the crunch berries out of the Captain Crunch. Again, animal be- behavior. Cereal is one of the worst. You eat the just the crunch berries out of out of the Captain Crunch. You're kicked out of the country. One hundred percent. It's yeah. like eating the marshmallows out of Lucky Charms. You only eat the good part. That's You're a, done. Okay. Get so out of here. So now I'm all triggered like you are about this. Get out of here. Why? Why? Why would you do this? Because it's annoying. They, they make things that are just specifically for those items. So quit ruining mine. Okay. I'm, I was trying to help you for a long time with this segment to make sure you don't get in trouble for the weekend. You don't cause any animosity between you and your lovely bride. Right. But I'm... Mm. <sighs> Buy oh, hold your on. M&Ms. Hold Por- on. This hold doesn't on. make sense. You guys we got to get to Shannon's sense. call next. Shannon, hold on. <laughs> Shannon has some advice for you. Okay. I really want to see where this call is going to go. We'll get to Shannon next. And, oh, we got Heidi's ringtone.